Cup is like going back in time. Some of those log cabins don't have running water, electricity, and just right outside the town is one of the spookiest places I've been to. So we are here at the cemetery and Tin Cup, and I'm feeling the spirits, are you? I am. These are the burials of the town of Tin Cup. A lot of them from the 1800s. I don't know if I'd want to be here at, after dark. There's a lot of headstones here. There's a lot of crosses. There's a lot of no-name burials. Did you see some of those gravestones? <laughs> I've got the chills. I don't, I'm being honest about that. Anybody else? I think there are zombies here. I'm not a chicken or anything, but I was ready to get the heck out of that place. So it's starting to rain. It what is. is next? Well, I thought we'd stop for lunch, get out of the rain a little bit, and I know a good place in Tin Cup. Now that is a sandwich. All right, so on the back of the menu here at Frenchie's place is the history of who Frenchie is. And Frenchie came to Tin Cup Camp in 1879, and the reason he got the name Frenchie was because he's French-Canadian. What he did is he opened the first saloon here in camp, and he would provide the miners with whiskey, serving the whiskey at 15 cents per tin cup. 